The purpose of this video is to help you identify in an equation which is an acid and which is the base. So before we go about trying out equations, first take a look at the different theories of acid and bases. From the previous video and from your booklet, you should have seen that we have Arrhenius theory and there's bronsted lowell theory. So for Arrhenius theory, um, an acid is defined as a substance that dissociates hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. Whereas in bronsted lowell theory, we have learned that acid is a proton donor, whereas bases is a proton acceptor. Now, what is a proton? Before you can really identify what's a acid in terms of bronsted lowell theory, you have to ask yourself, what is a proton? Now, take a look at hydrogen atom. Based on this, you can see that hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom has a, from here, one atomic number, so you can tell that it has one proton. And being an atom, it naturally is neutral charge. So naturally it will has one it will have one electron. Alright? Having a mass number of one and one atomic number, it tells us that it has zero neutron. You might wonder, what does this have to do with proton? <coughs> now take a look. This is your this is your hydrogen atom. One proton, one electron, no neutron. What happens? when the hydrogen loses that one electron to form your hydrogen ion. You'll be left with just one proton. And this will be your hydrogen ion. So you can identify hydrogen ion as just one proton. So when you look at the chemical equations, you want, to, you want to see which of your reactant gave away, donated one hydrogen ion to the other reactant. Now let's look at part A. We have HCl and NaOH. So from here we can see that HCl, let's compare HCl to NaCl. We can see that from here, from HCl to, HCl to NaOH, one H has been donated away. And now let's look at NaOH. Can you see that the OH from NaOH accepted the hydrogen to give you H2O. So from here, we can see that this is our acid and this is our base. This is a relatively straightforward example. Now let's look at the other example. Part D. For most of you, you might not be able to identify this. This is our ethanoic acid. Our ethanoic acid, we can break them down into ethanoic ion and H+. So comparing our ethanoic Comparing our ethanoic acid with our ethanoic salt, you can see that from here to here, the hydrogen, the hydrogen ion has been donated away to your magnesium ion, magnesium oxide. So now let's look at MgO, compare MgO and H2O. From MgO to H2O, can you see that the oxide accepted hydrogen? The oxide accepted the hydrogen from the ethanoic acid to give you your H2O. Hence, we can also conclude that our ethanoic acid is our is acting as the acid and magnesium oxide is acting as our base. Hence, this is another acid-base reaction. Now let's look at now let's take a look at our last example. F we have HCl plus magnesium. In this case, HCl has donated away a hydrogen ion. So HCl is still acting as our acid. Whereas look at take a look at magnesium. Magnesium 
if you look at our reactant, magnesium chloride or hydrogen, magnesium did not accept any proton from HCl. Hence, magnesium is not a base. Therefore, F is not an acid-base reaction.